In the times of Chazal, there was a special kiddush that they made in the Bet Knesset. On Friday nights after Tefillah, they had a kiddush in Kanisa that was instituted by the Chachamim and, and it, it existed in the times of Chazal. Now, why did they do this? Because back then, the Kanisa was sort of like a, a motel also. And travelers, people that were traveling, when they would get to a city with the Bet Knesset, they would stay there for Shabbat and sleep there. That would sort of be their residence for that Shabbat. So they had minyanim, they had food. It was sort of like a motel, an inn, for them to stay and then continue on their journey on Motei Shabbat. For that reason, the Chacham Instituted making Kiddush in a Bet Knesset, in a Kanisa, to be Moti, to fulfill the obligation of anyone who's sleeping or residing in that Bet Knesset over Shabbat. Now today, how does this, how does this apply? Many authorities, many poskim think that this was a takanat chazal, this was an enactment, a decree done by our chachamim, and therefore we still have to do it. The, 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 the takana wasn't batel, the takana wasn't nullified, wasn't complete. So for them, they make they make kiddush Friday night in Kanisa, uh, even today when no one's sleeping in the Bet Knesset. However, the, uh, according to the Sfaradim and Ravadia and Rabbi Chaim, they explain that this this uh, this minhag in our generation doesn't necessarily apply because Baruch Hashem in our communities no one is sleeping in the shul everyone has a place to go home sleep and sleep and everyone at home will end up making Kiddush as well so this Kiddush that you can do in Kanisa could maybe because there's no one eating there there's no one drinking from it and therefore we shouldn't proceed with doing it Ravaya does add and say however in a situation where the people are not as religious and there's a high likelihood that many people won't be saying Kiddush Friday night at home. So think about any of the Chabad houses anywhere in the world per se. That's a prime example of what exists. They're not going to go do Kiddush in their apartment on Friday night. They, they came to, they can I say luckily. In those scenarios, they should still consider, they should still proceed to make Kiddush. And then it gets complicated who drinks, how much he drinks. The halakha, if the person making Kiddush is uh, going to drink a Revi'it, that's the best because then he has what we call Kiddush become Seuda. He made this Kiddush in a place where he has a Seuda. The Seuda would be the Revi'it of wine. If the Chazan who's making the Kiddush doesn't want to drink anything, he wants to go home and make Kiddush again, then they would say, don't drink anything from the grape juice and give it to a minor, give it to a child who came to the age of Chinuch. He'll drink and, have, and, and, uh, make, and, and uh, consume the wine from the bracha that was made. Uh, but this is just important to know that it's, it, it pertains to scenarios where people wouldn't be making Kiddush at home. For our generations, Baruch Hashem, most, almost everyone who attends Shul on a Friday night will end up going home to make Kiddush. So there's no need for us to do Kiddush in our Shul. If there's a, if there's a synagogue that has some sort of incentive that gives out food on a Friday night in Beit Knesset, then obviously they have to make Kiddush because you can't eat before you're in Kiddush. But that's a very quick synopsis of the mean of making Kiddush in Kanisa so at night. Again, we're not talking about during the day, just at night, and how to proceed in our generation. Have a wonderful day.